So, taking the derivative of logarithmic functions by Alec Mossel and Ali Mazza. Here we go. So, before we start, um, we're going to go over some uh, basic rules, such as the power, product, quotient, and chain rule. Um, as you can see, here is the uh, power rule. If you have a uh, if you have x to an exponent, basically to take the derivative of that, of that, you subtract one from the exponent and bring it out in front, or bring out the original exponent in front, and then take one away from the new exponent. For the product rule, if you have the derivative of two functions multiplied by each other, you can basically um, uh, take f of x times um, the derivative of g of x and add that to g of x times the derivative of f of x. Um, quotient rule is if you're taking the derivative of a fraction, um, you do g of x times the derivative of f of x minus f of x times the derivative of g of x and multiply that, I mean, sorry, put that all over g of x squared and um, of course the chain rule. So, um, Some other things that you might need to know is um, some basic logarithmic rules that we have here. So look over those if you need to. And finally, these are your basic formulas for taking the derivative of a logarithmic function. If you take the derivative of a uh, ln of x, you basically just put um, 1 over x, or 1 over, say, ln of 4 of x, you would put 1 over 4 of x. Um, if you take the derivative of a function, you do 1 over that function, f of x, multiply it by the derivative of that function. Um, now, if we have logs, regular logs with a base instead of natural logs, when you take the derivative of that, you put 1 over x times the natural log of a, and as you can see, the, the, the base of the log is going to be a, so you're going to plug in those numbers as they are. And uh, finally, um, if you take the derivative of a function, you do 1 over the function times the natural log of the base of the log, so times the natural log of a, and you multiply that by the derivative of the function. Uh, we have two examples here, so first let's start with example one. Um, we're taking the natural log of a function x squared plus 8, and that was the second uh, formula that we just went over. So basically we're going to take, um, we're going to take that function, I got this one. we're going to take that function, um, put 1 over it, and then multiply it by the derivative. So the derivative of x squared plus 8 is 2x, so the answer would be, uh, 1 over x squared plus 8 times 2x, and when you simplify, you have 2x over x squared plus 8. It's relatively straightforward. Um, like it says here, rules for derivatives of logarithmic functions should be memorized, and you don't need any derivative rules. Example number 2 is a little more complicated. We have the natural log of a fraction. Um, so we're going to have to use some, some uh, log rules, or natural log rules. So we're, first, we're going to um, change this into natural log of 2x plus 1 cubed minus natural log of 3x minus 1 to the fourth, which we can do um, based on log rules. Um, you're going to simplify that because you can take the because we have a natural log, you can bring the exponent out in front. So you get 3 times the natural log of 2x plus 1 minus 4 times the natural log of 3x minus 1. Um, we're going to simplify this by um, using alright so we're on to this step and since we're taking the derivative of this we leave the 3 out here and we're going to multiply that times 1 over 2x plus 1 we have 2x plus 1 because um, like the uh, second equation the FC4 said we do 1 over the function times the derivative of the function and the derivative of 2x plus 1 is 2 so you have that and then you're subtracting, like, because we're subtracting from here, we're subtracting 4 times um, 1 over 3x minus 1, because we have 1 over this function. And then we take the derivative of it, which is 3, the derivative of 3x minus 1 is 3. And basically, you have this entire function, and when you simplify it by multiplying, you have 6 over 2x plus 1 minus 12 over 3x plus 1. And that's that. You can look over some more examples of, um, derivatives of regular logs in the in the book are online and good luck.